director, actor, and writer of Supercopolis. So I wrote the script starting around uh, five or six years ago. Um, just nights and weekends for a year uh, writing the draft. And then uh, when I started fishing up, then uh, I started casting and crewing up and getting investment and all that. So that's where the producer role kind of came in. And then we went into production. Uh, Pre-production was around April 2010. And um, so that's when I started getting into more the actor part, kind of preparing for the role, uh, working with the acting coach, Jeannie Hartman, um, and then obviously going into production July 20th in New York City. And uh, we shot six days, then came back here, had about a week to recover, and shot August 9th. Uh, in Hong Kong for 20 days and uh, two days in Macau. I definitely, as an actor, I had been looking to write a, uh, to do a feature film. So I was writing a number of treatments around 2004, 2005. Um, and what I noticed was, I mean, there are a lot of people, there's a huge influx of people in Hong Kong. Uh, a lot of them were bankers. So uh, I was starting, I would just be out and just listening to the conversations and uh, what was going on. And it was a really hot, you know, it's, it still is a hot time. It's a very hot time, at, you know, when um, you know China's economy is booming and uh, the shift is going from west to east now. So it just sounded like the characters were really interesting, and so that started a foundation of, oh, what if I did like a financial type film out in Asia? And this is one year before the financial crisis. Um, so yeah, then I did my research. I was like, you know, I I had seen Boiler Room, I had seen Wall Street, and those were in the past. So. I also, so I felt like this could be like a unique story that I could tell. Nobody had really done it, linked the two cities. Uh, so I played this um, New York hedge fund trader. So this guy, he, um, he really has, you know, he's, he's Asian, but he's never gone to, back to Hong Kong really before. And um, he's sent over here by his boss and uh, to do this mega trade. And then sort of he goes through this kind of, um, introduction to society in Hong Kong and he has to kind of maneuver and and find his way. What I wanted to present was somebody who's not just this simple underdog who who you root for him. He's you know we want to create a character where like he's he's the he's the guy, the average guy that like he's you know in finance and he wants to make his bonus check at the end of the year and and so when he goes through these kind of struggles, what is that what's going to happen to him? Because I think that's a lot of what people are doing right now, or people in finance. I mean, they're just normal people. They're good people, and then they go through these changes, and you know, they, you know, they get, they come here, they get packages, and and how do you deal with that? Not everybody can deal with that. No, not everyone can deal with coming into these, uh, into newfound wealth. You know, I started as an actor, and I was finding my way, and then uh, uh, along the way, I'd actually um, uh, felt that filmmaking was the necessity, especially as an Asian person, um, to really create opportunities because you can't wait for other people to do it for you. You can't blame other people to do it for you either. You know what I mean? I think that's really important. And so, um, you know, the people at the festival, like I, you know, had kind of you know, they had helped me along and really introduced me to what, you know, filmmaking was. We had a, there's a, uh, you know, there's a group called the uh, Film Club, uh, AA Film Lab, which, um, which uh, I, I took over as president a long time ago. And then, you know, in the first year, I produced the uh, 72 hour film shootout, which some people know about. Um, and that's great because that was, you know, it's going eight years strong. And, you know, I see so many short films that people have done, like people work together. We've like created groups where people like have that type of bond. So um, that's cool. And that's all a part of the festival. I mean, that's all through um, their kind of um, help. So I'm really excited to be there because it'll be like, like hometown, home, hometown crowd. I'm from New York. And, uh, and it really is, like this movie really is sort of a blend between East and West. So it's, it's, it's the you know, perfect place, the perfect time. And it's right before our um, distribution, August 10th. We're coming out, theaters. Cable VOD, iTunes, all the same day, day and date. I mean, this is, you know, we're give, we've been given a slot that a lot of films don't get the opportunity to do, but really in the States, people get to see this film. They can get it any way they want. So we're really excited about that.